It's the season of giving, my friends, the season of meeting with your friends and family, distantly, of course, and the obligation of gifts. Gifts for the people that you love, gifts for the people that you like, gifts for the people that you tolerate, and gifts for the people you could rather do without. That's why we've come up with the tech gift guide of the top 10 tech gifts to get for people that you would rather not give gifts to. This could be for people at your corporate function or family members who you only see every once in a blue moon and you just wanted to make it seem like you care about them. Number one, short power cables. These are great because it indicates that you care about their ability to charge their device, but not in a way that's meaningly useful. Four inches seems to be the sweet spot of giving them just a little bit of wiggle room, but not enough to actually get away from the charger. Number two, these flash drives, which only have 64 megabytes of storage. It indicates that you care about their ability to store files, but not enough that they can really transfer anything more than more documents. These are perfect because they're nondescript, give no indication that you're actually buying them a small storage device, and they'll only find out when they bring it back to their computer if they ever plug it in at all. Number three, this one's actually slightly cool, but also a little ridiculous. It's a mouse with a hidden pocket scale. You want them to be able to measure the weight of disappointment that's caused at their hands? Well, now you can do that with this mouse. Number four, this one's actually unironically cool for me, but I could see how it would be a terrible gift for somebody else, and that is a Bluetooth speaker watch. Yes, my friends, if you ever want to be the obnoxious person traveling on the subway who has to play music from their wrist, this is the perfect thing to get them. Bonus points for one that has extra bling with RGB. You can say you got them a smartwatch, when in reality, you technically did because it does connect over Bluetooth, but now it just turns them into the giant tool that we all know they are. Oh! Number five, this Bluetooth beanie it achieves some of the same function as the Bluetooth watch, but does it in a way that gives them a little protection for winter. It shows them that you care about their head being kept warm, but it's just one more thing to charge. Number six, for the perennial late person in your office, this mobile alarm clock, which is an annoyance to turn off because it's heckin' loud and it'll travel all across the floor to get away from you to make sure that you turn off the alarm physically. It could be a great dig for your coworker who's always showing up 10 minutes late in the morning. Number seven is a little bit harder to implement, but it's a great gift that should definitely be on this list, which is the talking toilet paper spindle. This is something that you can record a message to, and then when they pull that toilet paper, you can remind them just how much you love them, or just how much you think that they're a total worthless piece of crap. This one likely goes with family members. Just install it in the bathroom while you're there for the holidays, and you can either greet them with a lovely message while they're on the can, or you can become the new ghost that haunts their toilet. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. Number eight, frustrating one, USB adapters. If you hear somebody has a problem with their new MacBook that only takes USB-C, get them the opposite of what they need. Type C female to type A male, or if they're on PC, get them a bunch of type A female to type C male. Shows that you care about their problem, but not enough to actually research what they need to get things done. Number nine is actually a good one for the community, and that's getting them a WinRAR license. It's one of the most useless things that you could do on a computer. It's continually free no matter how long you've had the trial, but it can support the developers who actually give it away for free. Useless to the person receiving, but oh so good for the people who make the software. Number 10 is probably the worst one that you could do, and that is get them one of these mini PlayStation 5s. You can find somebody over on Etsy who 3D printed and painted these mini PS5s, including box, to showcase that you do indeed know that they want to play the latest gaming console, but you just couldn't quite swing the cash for them. So that's the top 10 tech gifts you could get for people that you don't like. I do have a few bonus gifts that I can recommend to you, but these are more for the practical jokers amongst you. First bonus one is a beeping PCB, which can beep for three years years on one given battery. You can either put this in their stocking, you put it in another present, or you can stick it in your coworker's desk just to give them a little bit of holiday cheer this year. The second bonus gift is a region log Blu-ray or DVD player. If in case you're in the US, your region would be NTSC, well, you can go ahead and find one on eBay that's for the PAL region. None of their DVDs or Blu-rays would actually work on it, but they could bring it home as a fancy new toy. Third bonus gift for the people who are on their phone way too much, get them the no phone air. It's just a bag of air that indicates that they spend way too much time on their phone. This is a great passive aggressive gift to the person in your life who just can't pry their eyes from their dang mobile device. And the last bonus gift is for the person in your life who always tries to act like they're richer than they are, and that is these fake phone camera bumps that can bring their iPhone 11 or 12 up to a 12 Pro. Gives them the status symbol that they always wanted without you having to buy a seven to $900 device in order to make them have it. And that's gonna wrap up this video. The top 10 tech gifts for the people that you don't necessarily like in your life, but you have to give them gifts anyways. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below in the comments, leave links to the ones that you might be giving to your friends and colleagues this year. And with that being said, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, get subscribed. We've got more stuff coming up for you this year and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.